for all you neurodivergents out here, here is a neuroscience science mancy with a great first line. Navigating social environments is a fundamental challenge for the brain. Amen. The paper is Basis Functions for Complex Social Decisions and Dorsomedial Frontal Cortex. So, what they were trying to figure out is how is the brain processing where it stands in social environments? What do you do with the other people? And how do you interact with them? How do you make those decisions? How do you break it down in the brain? And so, they tested this by taking uh, you and a partner against two other people. And they did a number of different tests and then measured the brain activity of what was going on. And one of the things they were looking for were the brain processing this in an agent-centric manner, as in you were paying attention to those people and memorizing what they did and how effective they were in this game, or we're using basis function, which is more about memorizing the patterns of who and what uh, and how these people should be solved as problems, you might say. And so, the two parts of the brain that were activated the most was a part of the prefrontal cortex called the dorsomedial prefrontal cortex, which is a key in decision-making one. Uh, decision-making is one you hear about a lot. Uh, as well as the uh, part of the cortex called the anterior cingulate cortex, which is important for social cognition. And what they figured out was the brain is, like with your other senses, breaking it down into simpler problems. So, very similar to how you do vision, and you don't process all of your vision. You just take what's important out of it and you kind of streamline the rest because you know what background stuff is, like boring gray walls. And so, your social relations, you reduce down to key patterns of how they move. You know, if X, Y. Uh, if I help this person, they will help me back. Um, and then also, like in movement, movement is uh, tended to be seen as uh, a, sim a series of simple patterns. It's actually just a, a almost a toolbox that you use to do all these different uh, movements with uh, the basic functions. And social decisions are often built that way too, from um, simple group comparisons of who's on your team and who's not on your team. And then finally, just like in spatial awareness, those two parts of the brain, they create a compact map of social interactions so you can kind of navigate what you're trying to do here. And so what they really figured out was is that people are mostly using basis function. They're using the patterns of it. So you're not as much saying, oh, Kat is my friend, so I should say yes to helping her. You're saying Kat is a friend, and so I will say yes. And so you almost take social um, decisions and you break them down into very simple things and make patterns of them that you can repeat like you do in so many other parts of your life. So that's how I think neurotypicals uh, are processing things. This wasn't about neurodivergence, but I would be curious about research like that.